Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is pretty much my new studio. I mean, it's all right. What's up everybody, it's Lice and Lexi and in this video, we are going to be looking at how Peel made his insane intro. As of May 2021, this is the opera that Peter McKinnon has. This Disclaimer, uh, due to copyright reasons, I won't be able to play Pete's intro or my almost exact recreation of it. But instead, I made an almost close looking intro, which you saw in the beginning of this video. So, without making this a boring tutorial, I'm gonna be breaking down my process of getting inspired and recreating Pete's intro within After Effects. Here we are in the one and only After Effects. As usual, create a composition with 1080p, 30fps, and 10 second duration. And as you can see, I have broken this into several segments, which has some really hard transitions played along with the high paced hard rock music, just like the original intro. So, the first segment consists of three layers. So, the first layer is the footage slash the image layer that I have put. You can feel free to enter an image or a video. So this has been animated so that it gives a zoom out effect by scaling down from 150 to about 100 within 4 frames. Then I have added a solid with this deep cyan color and it's animated by reducing its opacity from about 3 frames to the 10th frame. Next I have this rotating and scaling down square and it is also animated in the same way by setting a scale and a rotation keyframe at the end to the normal values and then I have changed the scale by increasing it and the rotation by rotating it. Next moving on to segment 2. So in this segment you can see that there is a text moving while you can see the background image behind. So I have set its blending mode to multiply. So once you set it to normal you can see this is the image and I'm gonna set it to multiply like this but in the bottom layers if I go ahead and open this this is a black and white layer you cannot put any other colors other than black and white if you want this kind of an effect because what the blending mode multiply does is it takes out the white color as transparent so I have also added some dots by adding some period marks along in a text layer and that's pretty much it for this segment moving on to the third segment in this segment I have as usual the image layer that I have in the bottom and then I have added a text layer and which is animated with position so that it moves from the right to the left and and, and if you can see there are two black bars from the top and bottom and those are added by creating a new adjustment layer and then in the effects and presets if you go ahead and search for the motion tile effect if you drop it onto the adjustment layer and reduce the output height to about 60 you can get these two black lines and then reducing the opacity also to about 66 you can get this next moving on to this next segment segment 4 so in this segment I have added another motion tile effect just the same way but I have increased the output height to about 1180 and then I have animated its position so that it moves upwards and as you can see it repeats the same image once again and just like in Pete's intro and above that is the next layer where I have some text so if you're wondering how I did this repeating effect onto the text layer you can search for the CC tile effect from the effects and pieces library and then drop it on to the layer once you have done that you have to increase the expand down value and then you can see it automatically repeats the text layer for you. Next I have added the a text layer without a stroke effect and that is animated with position. I went ahead and keyframe by keyframe animated it so that you can get a glitchy kind of effect on it. So in the first frame I put it up and then in the next frame I did the same thing and went ahead and did it like that. But make sure once you have done animating adjusting the position you have to select all the keyframes and right click and click on toggle hold keyframe to get this kind of a keyframe look. Moving on, so in this segment, I have two images which are moving at two different paces and that is done by dropping the two images as usual but I have animated them so that their position moves. So just like the previous one, I added the motion tile effect for both of them and then I animated their position. So the image below is moving faster than the one above. Also I have added a text layer onto the 
top layer which says content and you might be thinking why I break, broke it into two because once you have the motion tile effect it becomes one word okay and the other things that I've added is the shape layers that once move in and that is also done by I use the pen tool and then I drew shape pretty much like this and then once you drew your shape layer you have to go ahead and search for the CC Raper tile effect or if it's a shape layer you can expand it and click on add and then click on repeater once you've done that you can open the repeat properties and then increase the number of copies okay i'm moving on to the next segment yo dude i'm in the middle of a video dude oh, well, I'm the, oh, i just want to let them know to like and subscribe oh sure they will do that dude this definitely oh okay 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 bye yeah yeah man just Moving on, segment number 6. So in this segment, I just have an image, but I have animated the segment layer itself with some position keyframes so that it moves upward like this. And that's pretty much it for that segment. Moving on to the next segment, segment number 7. And this, this is one of the most easier segments. And this is also another simple animation in which the layer below, which is which I have used the same image as the background and then I've increased its scale and I added a hue and saturation effect from the VX and presets library I reduced the lightness to about minus 61 and I reduced the saturation to about minus 30 and then I added the same image on top then I made a little mask so that it looks like this and I animated its position so that it moves downward and make sure you select the keyframes right click them and go to keyframe assistant and then click on easy ease and then go to the graph editor and change the graph to something like this to give it a smooth motion that looks like this. next I added a text layer that says Photoshop and which is also animated with position it coming into the frame from the left. The next one is segment 8. I basically have a solid for the background and the same text layer that I used in the previous segment, segment number 2 which is made out of cool stops for periods and then and also I have added a video and then I also masked it to make it look like a cool rectangle and then I added a text layer. Moving on to segment 9 and in segment 9 I have this animated video with a text layer which says after effects its opacity to about 30 okay and in segment 9 i've added an animation of a colored animated text which moves downward like this if you want to know how to create this animation you can check out this tutorial that i made on this channel by clicking on the link in the description <laughs> anyways moving on to the next segment segment number 10 so in this segment i have a black solid as my background and then a footage of me talking in one of the videos and i have added a mask around it then i have another video of an animated text and i have another video of an animated text which you can learn how to make by watching this video of the equatorial animation and then again i have the same text layer of which is after effects oh and one important thing is this shape layer i made this shape layer by basically creating a rectangle and then i made four little squares like this and i dropped them onto the four sides like this and i have animated the portion of all the three layers just like this so that they come down in different places just just go with what looks cool next moving on to segment number 11 in this basically i have added an animated rectangle with an increasing scale and so and that's pretty much it moving on to segment number 12 i have another animation there are some animated rectangle shape things going on so that is created by using the rectangle tool by drawing a rectangle then i animated its position so that it moves in from out of the frame to about to this point then i duplicated the same layer seven times and i changed their timing to about two frames apart from each other and it looks like this moving on to the next segment segment number three in this segment i basically have just two videos of one of an audio react and the other one which has a video of me explaining how to make an audio react in my fourth channel i said so from here on was there is an upbeat moment in the audio so i just kept on dropping footage to match the beat so that is basically it that i have done to make this open okay i hope you guys like this tutorial and if you did Hit the like button if you like this video, smash it if that's something that you're into, 2021 style, subscribe if you aren't already, and, and, I will see you in the next video.